just giving a word and then the bishop is taking us into the new year. Amen. 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 So real quickly, go to go with me to the gospel according to St. John. The gospel according to St. John. We want to look at chapter 5. For the sake of time, I'm not going to read all the verses that I had. I just want to key on a couple of verses here. When you have it, say amen. Amen. Gospel for the St. John chapter 5. I want to read the first verse and then we're going to drop down just for time. Say amen. amen. The first verse of chapter 5 says, Later on there was a Jewish festival. And I'm reading from the Amplified Bible, so it may be different than your King James Version. Feast for which Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now let's drop down to the fifth verse. There was a certain man there who had suffered with a deep-seated and lingering disorder for 38 years. And when Jesus noticed him laying there helpless, knowing they had already been a long time in that condition, he said to him, do you want to become well? Are you ready in earnest about getting well? The invalid answer, Sir, I have no one when the water is moved to put me into the pool. But while I'm trying to come into it myself, somebody else steps down ahead of me. Jesus said to him, get up, pick up your bed, yes. sleeping bed, and walk. Uh -huh. Amen? Amen? For just a few minutes, I just want to speak for the subject I want. I want. I you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. May I give us a declaration before we go into the new year? May I give us a declaration? This is what I want to look at our declaration to be, and we're going to get it from the text, but I want to give you the declaration now. I won't let the disappointments, failures, mistakes, hurts, bad decisions, or victories of 2013 neutralize me for 2014. Come on. I'm say that again. I, I want to say that again. I want you to get that in your spirit. I won't let the disappointments, the failures, mistakes, hurts, bad decisions, or victories of 2013 neutralize me for 2014. Amen? Neutralizing me to counteract the activity or effect, to make ill effect. Or in other words, to steal, kill, and destroy. Yes, when you are neutralized, you are falling into the boat of what the enemy wants to do to us. Kill, steal, and destroy. Yes. So, so if we're going to be like this man was in the scripture, mm. Jesus asked him a question. Will you be healed? He didn't ask him, did you have a man to put you in the pool? He didn't ask him, did you ever get close enough to the water when the water got trouble? He didn't ask him all that. He asked him one simple question. Do, will you be healed? Yes, sir. And he said, well, sir, I don't have a man put me in the water. He didn't ask him that. So in other words, I'm going to ask you, are you going to be, are you going to make it in 2014? Yes. Well, well, Pastor, you don't know what I've been through in 2013. I didn't ask you that. I didn't ask you that. I didn't ask you how many times you failed. I didn't ask you how many tears you shed. I didn't ask you how many times you made bad decisions. I didn't ask you how hurt you been in 2013. I asked you a question. Are you going to succeed in 2014? Come on. If you are, you cannot look at 2013. Do I have a witness in here? Oh, you, you look at some pastor, pastor. I, I can understand the disappointments. I can understand the failures. I can understand the mistakes and hurts and bad decisions. What do you mean by victory? Do you mean I can't even look at the victories in 2013? You can look at them and learn them, learn from them, but don't stay there. That's right. That's right. Did you, did you hear me? You can look at them, learn from them, but don't stay there. The problem with too many people are is when they have a victory, they stay in that moment. Yes. Uh -huh. They stay in that moment. But I noticed that you're only a champion in the NBA, in the NFL, whatever, for that year. Yeah. Right. That's and right. even after you celebrate, when the new year comes around, you still got the title, but they ain't really respecting you because they're trying to get to the Super Bowl or the championship themselves. Yes, that's right. Come on. So you want to have a little bit of time to celebrate in your victory in whatever sport you in. Why does church day you can celebrate in your victory all the year long and keep on going? Come on, sir. You preaching good already. And that's the 
problem. You stay so much in your victory that you don't look at your future, and your future has some more victory, but you're trying to try to gaze in your past glory. Come on. You really remind me of Rick Flair. You gotta understand I'm a, I'm a wrestling friend. I'm a wrestling friend. You really remind me of Rick Flair. You're still trying to have the woo when all your hair was falling out and you don't have the muscles that you used to have. You still trying to walk the walk and you can't walk that walk anymore. If you're going to succeed in 2014, you can't stay in the past victory of 2013. That's right. That's right. It will neutralize you. It will take you out, you got to realize that the enemy has three options for us. Uh -huh. He has three options for us. Yeah. To steal, to kill, mm -hmm. and to destroy. Yes, well, so let's look at those options. He has three options. Let's look at the options there. So the devil wants the first one of the options he has is to steal your momentum mm -hmm. for 2014. Well. The other option he has is to kill your productivity right. well, for 2014. All right. And then the third option he has is to destroy your usability yes. in 2014. Oh, well, I'm going to say it again. Yes. He wants to steal your momentum. Yes. Uh -huh. Because if he steals your momentum, you are like a car in neutral. You can get it, but you ain't going nowhere. Yes. Well, now, now, I heard you. I heard you. Some of you say, well, what momentum? Because you don't know what I've been through in 2013. Mm -hmm. You're right. I don't. But every tear you shed, every hard time you had, every difficult thing you've been through was your momentum to take you to 2014. That's right, come on. Because most of you are saying if you had a bad year, I ain't gonna let 2014 be like 2013. That's your momentum. Every tear you shed, every heartache you had, everything you went through is your momentum to take you to 2014. Although the enemy meant to take you out, God said, I'll use it for your momentum. So he wants to steal your momentum. Yes, sir. Now he wants to kill your productivity. Many people believe that the devil just wants to kill them. And yes, you are right, he does. My God. But in some cases, he knows it's better for you to be alive and just not useful. My God. All right. All right. Oh, yeah. So you are like the tree that Jesus talked about that is not bringing forth any fruit that he has, but it's still not bringing forth any fruit. And the father wants to kill it. But Jesus said, Lord, let me give me another year. So the enemy wants to kill your productivity. And he wants to kill your productivity by keeping you in your past. Can we go to the lesson text for just a moment? Can we go back to the text? Jesus asked the man, will you be healed? For so the man has potential to produce something. Well, come on. Yes, sir. He has potential to produce something. But before Jesus could get him to the producer something, the man said, well, Jesus, I don't have a man to put me in the water. That don't have anything to do with what you need to produce. You're so busy thinking about how you failed in the past that you can't see I'm about to put you on the right track in the future. Yeah. And the enemy have now just stole this man productivity because he keep on focusing on the past and not looking at the future. Didn't he know that the light of the world was standing before him? Didn't he know that the healer was standing before him? Yeah. 
I got five minutes and I got to turn on the mission. You got to understand. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? When the military sends somebody out to neutralize somebody, they send a specialist. All right. Well, they send a specialist. We need somebody special who can take this person out. We can't say anybody. The reason why it has been so difficult for you in 2013 is because the enemy knew he had to send a specialist to take you out. Well, oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. But what God had for you, the enemy said, I got to take you out now, and I got to send a specialist to take you out. I went and sent a special assassin to take you out because I knew if I let you go in 2014, I won't be able to contain you, and God was going to get the glory. But you said, I made it. I'm, I'm still alive. Yeah, you're still alive. You're still alive. But are you usable for God? You're, God. you're still alive. But, but can God use you? Can God hold you? Can God shape you? Can God multiply some fruit off of your tree? Well, or are you just there for show? Mm. You look good, but ain't nothing coming off the tree. Yeah, you know. Oh, God. And the enemy now has neutralized you. So yeah, it has been difficult. I won't lie to you, it has been hard. You have some roller coasters, you have some problems, That's but you gotta realize that the harder it was, the greater that God wants to use you in 2014. Because if he sent everything after me, that means he must have got something great for me. I'm glad it was hard. I'm glad it was difficult. I'm glad I had a hard time. That lets me know my 2014 is gonna be off the hook. Take it down. Facebook is. I said, we went through a lot this year. 
would be like on a roller coaster. But all that was a seed. Yes, go. We lost some partners. We gave some partners. Mm -hmm. And a prodigal son come home. Yes, God. I had some people make bad decisions to leave. Yes. But all of that is a seed. Yes, God. Thank you, For what God wants to do. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. In 2014. Thank you, Lord. And if you can dare change your mind. Thank you. Your mindset. Yes. In these next four minutes. As the bishop is coming. That you can turn your potential around. Yes. Of what God wants to do for you. In 2014. Would you rest to your feet and say amen? amen. 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 